Welcome to the nightclub guys, your host, The Night Wrencher. This is kind of a weird video. I am out and about and check this out. If you guys can see that, I am running extremely lean. Um, I think I figured out where my vacuum leak was coming from. I've been struggling for the last week or so, maybe a couple days, no more than that, trying to find any kind of vacuum leaks because it's just been running extremely lean at idle and I've been able to go through and disconnect everything and plug everything that I can and everything like that. Let's see if I brought some carb cleaner with me. It doesn't look like I brought carb cleaner with me. Oh wait, yes I did. I did find carb cleaner. So uh, let me show you guys where I finally found where the vacuum leak is. Uh, I'm in the random parking lot, sorry about this. But check this out. So I don't know if you heard that, but the RPM got better when I sprayed the the shaft on the on the driver's side. So let me try opening this up a little bit, see what happens. Whoa, look at that. RPM got a lot better. Let's check out my O2. Look at that, I'm in the 13th again. We'll see how long this lasts, but basically i've been having intermittent lean spots at idle and what's happening is the shaft has worn out so you can tell that there's still a misfire it just keeps going back and forth if this if my o2 sensor would have been wired on my passenger side i don't think i'd be able to see the correct readings because it's only on the driver's side if i had uh, an open plenum i don't think i would be able to Actually, if I had an open plenum, I probably might have maybe be able to tell, um, but not really. It's only, there's a sheer coincidence that my O2 sensor's on the driver's side, and the driver's side's the side that wore out first. All right, so here we are. I've already taken off the base plate off of my 650 Holly, and uh, I've already taken it completely apart, and you can actually tell right, let's see. You see all the dirt that's right there? It's actually from the carburetor sucking in air through this little passage. It kind of looks like wear, but it's actually not wear. It's actually it's actually just dirt going through this little barrel for the shaft. You can tell the opposite end, not a lot's going on here. Um, the middle, also not very shiny. But the front... So check this out. This is where the... This is where the throttle shaft is riding. This is where it chills in the middle. And this is here at the end. The two pivot points are the front, or where your throttle linkage is, and the back. So technically these two should have the same amount of force applied, but because this actually has the throttle bracket and the throttle cable, this will tend to have more pressure put on it. Also, if you've got pretty heavy springs, it'll tend to want to do this and come up a little bit. So, if you, uh, you can't really tell, but if you go ahead and touch it, you can seriously tell how mauled it is. It is so uneven. And I had a big, big issue um, when I was tearing it apart because I could, actually I'll show you guys right now. Alright, so I've set the throttle shaft back in. And I don't know if you guys can hear it, but this thing, there is a lot of play in this shaft, like a ton of play. I've already went ahead and installed uh, one of my extra base plates on the 650. I pulled it apart, uh, swapped over all my equipment, like uh, my 50cc accelerator pump, uh, my... the correct accelerator pump cams on both sides uh swapped out the little nubs here because i didn't like the ones on the other base plate uh the little the linkage for my secondaries that's all been swapped over and i've already installed it taken it for a drive reset the idle mixture screws and everything is perfectly good so if you guys can't find where that erratic idle or super lean condition is coming from 
uh, inspect your base plate because I think chances are that's where you're going to be finding a lot of these issues. Later on, I'm going to be buying a new brand new billet one that's going to have all kinds of bells and whistles. But today is not that day. So that's all for today, guys. I hope to see you guys all in the next one. Night Wrencher out.